Tuesday is our tradition around here where we we kind of reset. We uh, take a look uh, within ourselves or we look at those around us and point at laugh. Uh, but that's not a healthy thing to do. But we have Dr. John Braccio to uh, tell us how to be good human beings. Dr. John Braccio from Regional Psychological Services every Tuesday about now. I like to call this, hey, what's up, Doc? Hey, good morning, Doc. How you doing? Well, very good, Mike, in Miami. going to be 84 degrees today, so it's going to be a little change oh. from here to there. <laughs> so um, you could say too warm, but I'm going to do it. How does that sound? You so, had to just, do You had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> just had to do it. Had to mention it. Ho, ho. But anyway, listen, we live in an age where more and more persons are isolated from each other. And really often their major communication is really not with other human beings, but with computers and other electronic devices. You know, this isolation is also enhanced for many by working at home, breakdown of the traditional extended family, less involvement and participation in community, social, and church organizations. So the rise in percentages of persons with anxiety and depression is really not surprising, Mike, because humans as a whole, we need and thrive with human interaction and the acknowledgement they belong and matter to others. So each of us can help persons by showing they matter to us. You know, really let them really know that we care more than just we know them, we interact with them, but they, they matter to us. They, they, may, they add something, a dimension to our life. Let them know. And this will help enhance their self-esteem and desire to see more purpose in their lives. And these are ways to show people they matter. Okay, and this is these are good things to do. Make time for them. This is pretty basic and critical. You know, there are people that say, you know, you're my buddy, you're my friend, you're someone I really care for, but I'm busy now, or no time for you, or whatever. And I mean, that you just have to make yourself available, and really let them know again that they matter to you. And that that's really kind of a big deal. You know, you may work for someone, you may interact with someone, but if they don't really let, let, let you know, you know, what you do is really, really important and helps my life go better and appreciate that. And you, you want to show genuine compassion and understanding. You really want to care for the person, not just a little tap on the shoulder, everything's going to work out, go forward. You, know, and you want to have to be available in the present now. You know, when, when you're needed, you're really needed, barring some disaster on your part. And you want to believe in and support their dreams. You know, what are the dreams people have they're trying to accomplish? And you want to be there and you want to say, you know, boy, these are things you can do. And more successful you are at what you want to do makes me feel good and adds things, you know, to, to my life. Um, you want to be positive and do what you can to help the person kick out negativity. You know, negativity, Mike, is really a killer. Oh, yeah. And people have that yeah. negative and knocks them down and, you know, just finds, finds the negative. No, we want to be encouraging hope. Hope's really a big, big deal. It's critical in good and bad times. Really, it helps the person in moving forward. You hope to do what they feel they must do to be successful. Dreams, you know, you, you want to hope and you want to offer people hope and, and say, hey, yeah, you're going to do it. Don't worry. Just move forward. Don't don't let your dreams get, get lost. You know, the old saying, you know, if you don't have dreams, they can't come true. And when you're talking to them, focus on them and not some you or some other person. You know, if someone says, uh, boy, I'm really having a bad day. <laughs> you're having a bad day. Wow, you ought to have my day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not, well, that's not going to further the discussion or let them know yeah, no. they matter to you. And then you want to let persons know you're grateful for whatever they're doing that you appreciate. This is really important. And if this is family members or coworkers or employees, employers, community persons, political leaders, or anyone that you have gratitude for, you just you just want to let them know that you do, you know, appreciate it and they matter to you. In case of children and spouses and other loved ones, we want to constantly acknowledge them and let them know how much they matter. This, you know, they may know you love them and appreciate them, but always let them know how much you matter. Like, you know. In my life, my heart just feels bigger and better and stronger when you're around and you just add something to sometimes adult life just thinking about you puts me in a good mood. And they want to regularly verify over and over again the person that they matter to you. And now, 
you know, Mike, some of these things may seem obvious, but it's important yeah. that, we, that, yeah, that we let persons know they matter to us. When persons feel they do not matter, the isolation they feel in this electronic age really can lead to not only depression and anxiety, but also suicide ideation. We certainly don't want that. No, no. You know, the, but they're knowing that they matter can help and enhance positivity, which is a big word, you know, positivity we want, not negativity. And you're going to get something, too. You know, when, you, when you're letting people know they matter to you and you're reinforcing and trying to be helpful to them, you know, they're going to appreciate you, the fact that you're trying to enhance their self-esteem and the fact you're singling them out and letting them know that, you know, that they matter to you. This is going to be a big deal. You're going to, you're going to gain, too. But the main thing is let people know that they matter to you. You're going to be reinforcing positivity. You're going to be helping your self-esteem. And you're also going to be helping yourself. So these are just things to try to do in this electronic age of separation and keeping people apart. As kind of amazing as these machines are, they really can negatively impact on the human, you know, interaction and touch that we really, that we all need. You know, sometimes, Doc, uh, the things that we need to do sound kind of, for lack of a better term to me, and I think others, it just it sounds a little fluffy, right? It's, it's like, oh, come on, I got to, oh, you know, you matter to me. But those, here's, here's what we've started doing here at the Austin Family Compound. You can use this, by the way, I'll give you this one for free, all right? <laughs> because we're at a point where everybody's so flipping busy we don't get time to like my son just just last weekend i was busy he just just went crazy on the driveway and the sidewalk and the cars and everything else it was like there was no snow he went so good on it right and i just, so i just said hey uh now i could have said you know you matter to me joseph you you nah, it's just i just said bud good job man i saw you do that but here's what we do because my wife, yeah, in her wisdom, is the one who pointed this out. But we don't we don't talk like we used to, um, because we're all so busy. So on Sundays, well, on Mondays, yesterday, we each take a, a, a time to write down a couple of sentences about, in, not in critique, but in appreciation of other family, and then we put it in an envelope and we stick it up on the fridge on. Sunday afternoon, we make a point of sitting down, and then we go through those. Everybody unseals their envelope, and they read it. And then we talk about it, and we're done. We make it like a half an hour. It's not a long time, but I think it puts things in perspective, and it, it's it's something that's formal that we can sit down. It, it forces us to all sit down together. Well, bravissimo. I think that is really a great thing to do because it isn't just the word. I mean, you, you can say something, but unless you put it in action and you're putting something in action, I think that's great, Mike. I think families and persons can do different things. That's that's making a, a definite attempt to get together, to talk about things, to share in, in this busy world because you're right. People can be so busy going from computer to computer, going from one thing to another that – it's good that that, that that also draws in this building a history there, too, building a history with the family, things that can carry on and that, that activity can carry on even for generations. So I, I think that's terrific, and that is letting persons know you matter because, like you say, it's not just words. It's something that you have to show you mean it and the availability, and it's you know helping people with their dreams, offering yeah. them hope. You know, these, this, this, is, this makes – Life worthwhile, you know, when when you when your last days are here on the planet, if you can oh say, boy. oh boy, you, yeah, but not not that we're trying to be negative, you know, in the stage of life, but if we can say the world's a little better because I was here, if you can believe that, and you've done that, then I think that's a that's a pretty critical thing to be able to do, and if and again, if we're focusing on others. And we don't we don't ignore ourselves, but if we're really trying to enhance other people's lives, even with small little comments and things, a smile, my goodness, give a smile. People need a smile. Yeah. They need to feel it means a lot. They need to feel good. It does. It means a lot. That. Dr. John Braccio, Regional Psychological Services every Tuesday. We do this thing here. Hey Doc, enjoy your uh, stay down there and come on back and bring us some some warmth and sunshine, would you? 
We'll do that for sure, my friend. You're a champion. Nice talking to you. You guys. Yeah, have a good we'll talk day. to you next yeah. week. All right. 1320 WILS back in just a minute. 